In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a fire t-shirt design like this by using artificial intelligence. You won't have to hire a graphic designer and spend hundreds of dollars. You won't have to understand how to use Photoshop or Illustrator, and you won't even have to print the t-shirt on your own. If you want to understand the full process on how I did this, make sure you watch the entire video. And if you find value from it, like and subscribe. So when it comes down to my favorite AI tools to be able to create AI art, Mid Journey is my number one tool. I've used them all from Stable Diffusion models, Leonardo. There are a lot of them out there that I've tested, but when it comes down to just the quality of outputs and the quality of graphics, I like to use Midjourney. So what you can do is go to midjourney.com. And then if you've already used Midjourney, then basically you understand that, you know, you have Midjourney, you create an account. And basically from there, you're going to be connected to Discord. Now, one thing that I want to mention, Midjourney used to have a free plan at this point in time. I don't believe they have free plans anymore. So you're going to have to subscribe. Basically, they start at $10. They go to $30, $60, dollars and 120 dollars when i started using i did 60 dollars because it allows you to be able to create designs and you can make them private so nobody else in the community can see them but if you're just getting started you know you can go ahead and get a 10 dollar account in it if you want to go ahead and make your designs private in the future then you can go ahead and upgrade and do that but basically you know when it comes down to mid journey what we have to do is go ahead and make sure that we type a prompt so when it came down to the t-shirt that i just made i ended up doing imagine right and then the prompt that i ended up doing was vaporwave sunset knights full armor with sword and then i did cute cartoon chibi vector very detailed shining light glow white background all right now a couple of things that i want to mention about this prompt a lot of the times when i'm thinking about t-shirt designs i'll make sure that i add the word vector and then i also want to make sure that i add the word white background right or the words white background and the reason being is you know the vector is going to make sure that it's almost like a 2d flat print you know i could go ahead and leave that out and maybe it's like a 3d design or it looks 3d but basically i want it to look 2d like a graphic and then also at the same time white background so when i do put it on a product that i won't have to you know have like all these wild backgrounds and it'll be hard to remove and it's not going to make a really good design so i always make sure i do those and then i just go ahead and hit enter and then after i hit enter then basically i am going to start getting designs so these are the designs that i ended up getting based on that specific prompt all of them look dope i write i really like them a lot and basically what we can do is say okay i want to go ahead and like choose my favorite so if you look at this look at it from left to right top to bottom so this is number one this is number two this is number three this is number four so if i come down here and i click on you three that means upscale three so basically i want to say hey this one right here which is number three make this all by itself i don't want it to be in a four square or a four block make it by itself because this is one of my favorite ones i also did the same thing for u4 which is this one right here and then basically i can choose b as well and basically b is going to give me multiple versions of the one that i choose so you see that i ended up doing b4 and basically b4 uh you know correlates with this one in the bottom right so i can get multiple versions of this specific style so if I come down right basically um you know i ended up doing the prompt a few times these look really good and you know i like the style of them um but basically here is that first one that we did so remember i did u3 and now it's all by itself and if i liked it then basically i can go ahead and save it and start editing it right same thing with this one i ended up doing u4 and when i did u4 this is the one that ended up you know coming out individually and then this is really the one that i ultimately chose for my t-shirt design so basically at this point in time all you have to do is right click you click on save image as you save it to your computer and then after that you can go ahead into the editing process but before we get to that i just want to show you that i made multiple versions right i did this a few times you know i tried to find the ones that were my favorite but like i said eventually the one that i liked the most out of all of them was this specific one right here right and it's all about just what catches your eye so after i ended up saving it to my computer the next thing that i ended up doing is going to a tool that is called kittle all right so basically when it comes down to kittle this is a really good tool because it allows you to be able to choose different templates to be able to edit your t-shirts okay so i can come down here and i can say okay this keep calm and coffee on this is a real cool template maybe i want to use this template and then i could change the words around change the colors add different graphics and i could really make it my own but the beautiful thing about this is i never have to start from ground zero so essentially what
what I ended up doing is I found a template that I like. And then from here, what I want to do is go ahead and edit the template. All right. So when I come on here, basically, um, I found a template I like. It already had, you know, fonts. Um, I ended up changing up the words. So I took a Bible verse. It says Ephesians um, 611, right? And so I entered in that Bible verse. And then I imported uh, the graphic that I ended up making on Mid Journey. Now, there's a few things that I want to note to you, right? So here is the specific graphic that came exactly from Mid Journey. If you looked and remember what I typed in the Discord, it looked just like this. This was the, my favorite. Now, what I can do when I bring this graphic in here is I can go ahead and I can uh, click on it. And on this right hand side, I can click on AI background removal. OK, now the thing about this is it gives a great design. It took out that whole white background, but it also took out the little sunrise or whatever was in the background as well. That's perfectly fine. I could use this right. And I think I could still make an amazing design with this, but I like the background. So essentially what I did is I went to Illustrator and basically um, I took the background out there. Right. So since this background didn't do exactly what I wanted, I went to Illustrator. I just removed the background and then I ended up, um, you know, bringing this into Kittle. All right. So now I have this design, the white background is gone. I'm gonna have the sunset or whatever in the background. And then now what I wanna do is I wanna start working on the words. So I already knew what the words were. Like I said, it's the Bible verse. So I'm gonna put, um, you know, put on V, right? And that comes up there on the top. And then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna say full armor of God, okay? All right, now we have that, right? So basically I can go ahead and I can move this around. I'm gonna right click this and I wanna send this to the back. All right, now I can come up here and I can make sure that this is centered. So I'm gonna hit this button right here to make sure it's centered. And then from here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make sure this is centered. I'm gonna make sure this is centered as well, right? So we're all even. And then from here, I'm just gonna move this up a little bit. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna move it right around there. And then I'm gonna take the Bible verse and change this up, right? Now on here, I've already chosen my colors just for to make this video video easy but if I wanted to change the colors I could come in here um I could switch things up I can you know move colors around make them different change the shades um you know I can add effects and different stuff like that but I already had you know my presets on here so I'm gonna go with this specific style now that I have the design that I want basically at this point in time what I want to do is I want to download this so I can be able to use it and put it on a t-shirt or put it on any product so from here what I'm gonna do is click on download and then I'm gonna come over here to where it says unit and this is very very, very important because we want to make sure that we have a high quality design that we can be able to put on our products. So from here, I'm going to click on where it says IN, which stands for inches. And then I'm going to click on PX, right? And basically PX means pixels. So at this point in time, a great size when it comes, especially for print on demand companies, I like to do somewhere between like 4,000 width, right? And then you like 5,000 height, right? So that's a good one. I could even do like 3,000, but we want to make sure that the image is large enough. And then this is very, very important on the right hand side over here. We want to make sure we switch this up right to where it says 72 we want to change that to 300 right to make sure that we have a high quality design so we don't have any issues when we print it out and it's going to come out clear okay so after we do that then what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on remove background i'm also going to click on this button to where it says optimize quality and then at this point in time i'm going to click on png and then now it's going to take my specific image and then it's going to download it right and then i'll be able to use this file on another platform so now that we have this taken care of, now we want to go ahead and we want to put it on the shirt and go to the print on demand company. So there are several print on demand companies out there that you can use, but I ended up using custom cat for this specific one. And I'm going to tell you why. So basically, if I come over to the uh, custom cat website, I've logged in at this point. And the reason why I ended up using them is because I had a student, we were in class and he was like, I ended up just using custom cat. I used to use them a while back, but I stopped for whatever reason, but I ordered from them again. And I really liked the quality. And he was like, they use some process called Digisoft. And I was like, what's this whole Digisoft thing? Like I had no idea, I had never heard about it before. So I came and I did a lot of research on YouTube and stuff. And I found out that Custom Cat does Digisoft. And basically traditionally, when it comes down to print on demand companies, they use a method or a printing method called DTG or direct to garment. And if you've ever seen direct to garment, basically you they, they put a, a shirt, it's almost like a printer, right? It's almost like, you know, like a printer that you print out paper, but it's a printer that prints on a t-shirt. So they put the shirt in and then basically the shirt goes into the machine and it prints just like a printer would on paper it goes back and forth back and forth and it prints on the t-shirt that's what a lot of companies use i think dtg is a great printing method but it depends on who does it there's a lot of complaints in the print on the man industry these days because when it comes down to dtg customers get their sample or get their order or even you know the, the brand owner order samples and it doesn't come out right the colors aren't vibrant so it just depends on who does it but with digisoft they use you know a different process called dtf right and basically 
that's what it is. They're not gonna really tell you that is DTF, but it seems like it's DTF. And DTF is direct to film. And basically at that point in time, what happens is they print out a transfer and then they press that transfer on the t-shirt. Now I guess they have some type of process that they use to be able to do this, right? At large scale volume, right? By doing DTF with a big company where they get probably thousands of orders, right? But you know, that's essentially what it looks like when I receive the shirt. So basically coming on here, you can call me, you can choose, you know, which shirt you want to print on. I ended up using the G500, which is like the Gilded Soft Style. And it's pretty good. Like, like Gilded Soft Style um, is straight. I think my favorite brands are like Bella Canvas. And you can see that they have Bella Canvas 3001 here. They also have Next Level 3600. That's a good one. But the Gilded Soft Style is cheaper, right? To start off, just like with the back print, and that's probably like small to XL. You know, it's like 690, just like with the one side print. But, you know, this is pretty good, right? I think I like it. You know, it's just pretty soft. You know, no, no big issues here. So I ended up choosing Gildan 500 and then after I chose Gildan 500 then I was able to come in and uh, take my design and put it on the shirt so if you look at this we have the front left chest and if you look at you know the shirt that I'm holding in my hand right now this is on the front left chest and then if we turn this thing around then I have that same design that I ended up taking from Kittle and I put it on the back of the t-shirt right and so we have the back of the t-shirt now the other great thing that I like about custom cat is it has so many colors to be able to choose from right so you can come in here and I can choose you know this green you know i can choose like this gold right um you know i can come down here it has like this hot pink right um you know it has a lot of color variety and a lot of the print demand companies don't always allow you to be able to have all this variety so i think that's another plus when it comes down to custom cat but the next thing is is like you know the you know i ended up choosing this pink right and i ended up choosing blue as the other color and i also chose white and when we come over here to my website you can see that after i push the design to my website here it is right so i have the pink i also have the white right and then i also have the blue right and um i love the way that they look now i also want to talk about the quality of the print right and kind of like the pros and cons to me when it comes down to how this design came out so when it comes down to the color i love the color it's vibrant it's not faded i think that's the other benefit of dtf or direct to film like it comes out very vibrant so if my customer was to get this i would be very very pleased when it comes down to the color quality and the saturation and the vibrancy of it the part when it comes down to DTF that I kind of feel like is a con is when you touch the film, it almost feels like a little bit of plastic on it, right? It's not printed directly into the shirt like a screen print or like a DTG or direct to garment. It's on top of it, right? So it kind of, you feel this plastic, especially when you have larger graphics like what I have in the middle. Now, one thing that I do want to mention is for the words, I think it's perfectly fine. It still has, you know, kind of like that, that film feel, but the only difference is it's like, it doesn't take up a large area so it kind of you know what i'm saying like it, it's pretty good so if i had a t-shirt to where it was just the words by itself i think that it would be amazing right i wouldn't have like any complaints at all but the only thing is like for this big graphic you know you can kind of tell that it's like this film that sits on top i have washed this um i put it in the dryer it comes out really good um afterwards right so it lasts but that's the only thing right when you have a large graphic it just kind of feels like you know it's this piece of plastic that sits on it but other than that it's fine and even when i look on the front right where i have have this left chest this is pretty good too right i wouldn't complain because it's not like a taking up a large space and it feels pretty good right so it's just for those large graphics but y'all this is the process right and this is how you can come up with amazing winning designs that sell by using artificial intelligence by using easy tools like kittle and then also at the same time using print on demand companies like custom cat so if you are interested i ended up putting those links down there at the bottom go ahead and check them out also i have a full master class on being able to walk through this and process if you need extreme detail and able to do it but you should be able to take this video set things up and get things rolling with what i gave you and if you found value from it make sure that you like subscribe and also share it with a friend so with that being said family thank you so much i appreciate you watching this go ahead and create your designs and if you can see it with your mind's eye one day you're gonna be able to see it with your real eyes peace i will see y'all in the next video blessings